morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruddy and I'm a filmmaker and check this out. So today I want to talk to you about how we left this ad, ladies and gentlemen, for pretty much no money. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, I had to black out the walls. We needed a contrasty background for our foreground objects. The next thing I did is I took a couple of light stands and I put something that's called a cake lamp on top of it. Then I took something that's called a pole cat and I stretch it over and I attach it into the cake lamps above our black surface. Now this is called a redhead, ladies and gentlemen. It's called a redhead because back in the day, it was painted red. I'm not even joking, that was literally why it was called a redhead. So we used a couple of more cake lamps, ladies and gentlemen, to attach these redheads onto the pole, suspended in mid-air, right above our worktop. The next thing I did is I attached a reflector right above the lights and I pointed them up into the reflector so I can get a reflected light. Now the quality of a reflected light, ladies and gentlemen, is much different than a direct light. It gives you softer shadows and much more pleasing to the eye look. The next thing I did, and I advise you to get one of these for yourself, is I stretch my shower curtain. The shower curtain is a fantastic diffuser or a bounce if you're on a very, very tight budget. So what I did is I created something called a balloon that I suspended the shower curtain underneath uh, my redheads and I got the light bouncing into the reflector and diffusing into the shower curtain. This lighting setup, ladies and gentlemen, is called a book light. It is called a book light because you have a light source that bounces into one of the pages of the book, reflects and goes through the other page of the book, which usually is some sort of a, a diffuser that makes the light even softer. This look allows you to have an even source of light that spreads on a large area, but also gives you a very, very pleasing soft look. The other very important thing that we had in the lighting setup, ladies and gentlemen, was the backlight. The backlight was a six 50 for now. We place the camera right on the line of our backlight. Basically, we're technically shooting directly into the backlight. This gives you a very, very dramatic image. When you use backlights in your photography, you make the subject pop out of the frame immediately. It almost creates a border of light around your subject, which immediately draws your attention directly to the thing that you're photographing. That these days you can pick up an iPhone and you can take a great still with it. But once when you come down to lighting is when you begin to shape the reality of the world and the story you're telling in within it. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions about cinematography, lighting, camera, directing, what have you, leave them in the comments below. Let's have a quick chat, shall we? Make sure you follow me on all my social media links into the doobly-doo. And now I need to go and figure out why the birds are flying backwards. Why are the birds flying backwards? Rawr, 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 rawr.